Cooper, product specialist for medical solutions at ISA Limited. Today, I'm going to show you what to expect when unboxing your Rally Force RX660. First, remove the fastening clips located on each corner of the box. This then allows the top layer of the packaging to be removed. Once all four clips have been removed, slide the top layer off. Remove the polystyrene, which also contains the included cables. Lift the monitor up slightly to enable you to place both hands underneath and then remove ensuring no pressure is applied to the LCD panel itself. Then go ahead and remove the protective covering found on the unit. The cables found in the box include one UK power cord, two display port cables, one DVI cable, two USB A to B cables and finally one mini display port cable used for daisy chaining. Here are the input and output connections found on the rear of the unit. Starting with the power connector and rocker switch, one DVI input, two DisplayPort inputs, one DisplayPort output, and finally two USB upstream ports used to control the monitor via ISO's Radix software. Connecting the RX660 to your workstation couldn't be more simple. Firstly, ensure the power cord is connected and that the rocker switch is in the on position. The RX660 is able to connect to your workstation using just one single cable. Connect one end of the DisplayPort cable to the DisplayPort 1 input and the other end into your workstation. If you would like to run your monitor in two halves, then use the mini DisplayPort cable from the DisplayPort 2 input to the DisplayPort output connector. And then go ahead and change the input settings within preferences. Now connect the USB cable, the Type B end gets plugged into the USB upstream 1 port and the Type A end into your workstation. USB Type A ports can be found on the side of the unit and can be treated as a USB hub. For example, these could be used to connect your mouse and keyboard. We also have cable covers and tidies to keep things looking neat. Last but not least, go ahead Turn on the monitor using the power button on the front. You should then see your image.